Chi Kilak to Parliament, the Right Honorable Professor Edward Rukumayo, the Speaker of Parliament of the National Consultative Council, which was the third parliament of Parliament of Uganda. Right Honorable Ambassador Francis Butajira, Speaker of the Fourth Parliament of Uganda. Thank you. Right Honorable Alihaj Moses Chigongo, the Deputy Speaker of the National Resistance Council, which was the fifth parliament. Right Honorable His Excellency Edward Sekandi, the Speaker of the seventh and eighth parliament of Uganda, and a former Vice President of Uganda. You're almost welcome. The Minister of uh, Honorable Muruli, the Commissioners to Parliament, staff of Parliament, our good friends, the Fourth Estate. I want to welcome all of you to this very special occasion that we're having today in this ballroom. I wish to preface my statement by thanking, first of all, God, the Almighty that has kept all of you alive. When I see all of you, I just say the hand of God is working. One thank God that our former speakers and deputy speakers are still with us up to today. Thank you, God, for that. And we ma you made a foundation for us in this house. And I feel proud as a speaker of the 11th Parliament when I see my elders, the former speakers who made this house what it is here today. I want to welcome you so much. As you are aware that Parliament of Uganda in 2007 passed the Parliamentary Pension Act, which conferred some retirement benefits to the retired speakers and deputy speakers. And the effect took place from the day it was assented. And it was limited to only speakers of from 2007 to date. The retired speakers that were there before could not benefit from that act. In the 11th Parliament, as we came in, the commission that I chair, where we have the commissioners here, we have Honorable Afoye Chan, we have Honorable uh, Solomon Silwanyi, we have Honorable Mpoga, we have the clerk as the secretary. The commissioners in the commission ministry agreed that we should pass an amendment to include all the speakers from 1979 because they, had, they have contributed to the well-being of this country they have contributed to this parliament. And when the commission passed that resolution, in a special way, I want to thank Honorable Cole Anthony, the member of parliament of Kilak North, who brought a private member's bill. Honorable Cole brought a private member's bill. In that private member's bill, he the, the, the speakers from 1979 were included in the pension, Parliamentary Pension Act 2022. And that's why today we have the speakers of 1979 to date in this boardroom. We do appreciate the circumstances that you are going through especially people who worked during 1979, 1980, 
we do appreciate what you went through and it was not an easy thing. It is not like you made a foundation for us. And it was because of the foundation that you made that we are able to run this parliament the way we are running it today. We will wait to be advised whether we are doing it well <laughs> or not. But we want to thank you so, so much. And the speakers that were considered in the act include His Excellency Yoweri Kagota Museveni and the chairman of the NRC, that is from 1986 to 1996. Right Honorable Professor Edward Rugumayo, Speaker and the Chairman of NCC from 1979 to 1980. Right Honorable Francis Butajira, Speaker of Parliament from 1980 to 1985. Right Honorable Alihaji Chigongo, the Vice Chairperson, Vice Chairman of NRC. 1986 to 1996. Honorable Edward Secondi, the deputy speaker of the sixth parliament from 1998 to 2001, as well as the speaker of the seventh and eighth parliaments. The families of the Right Honorable Pakabulo, the Right Honorable Francis Ayume, the Right Honorable Alex Waibale, who died before the enactment of the Parliamentary Pension Act. Honorable members, I want us to rise for a moment of silence for those members who passed on. May, may their souls rest in eternal peace. Right, honorable members, for avoidance of doubt, the Parliamentary Pensions Act as amended now entitles you both monetary and non-monetary benefits as provided for under the Parliamentary Pension Act 2022. The Parliamentary Commission is also extending the same benefits but limited to the monetary terms to the former speakers and deputy speakers who either died in office or in retirement. We are providing them those benefits. I know that all of you are living in, all of you, the living speakers and deputy speakers are already getting your monetary benefits from the Parliamentary Commission and you've not been able to get the non-monetary. That is a chauffeur-driven car and it is based on that that today we've called you for us to officially hand over you the, the cars that you are entitled as the former speakers and deputy speakers of this parliament. In, in that, you will be required to bring your own driver who will recruit as a parliamentary staff. Parliament will pay that driver of yours. The car remains a property of government of Uganda. And I'm repeating this, the car remains. I know the press likes distorting things. <coughs> These cars remain property of government of Uganda. Parliament will maintain these cars. 
Parliament will give you the, the, the former speakers, the drivers. Parliament will fuel this cars. But Parliament, after every five years, will be giving you in, a new car. Or in between, when you, a car gets a problem, you will bring back and we give you another car. You are property of government of Uganda, former speakers. <laughs> so we are supposed to look after you as per the act, and we are doing this because of the act. I want to, first of all, inform our elders that you mean a lot to us and will continuously, as a 11th parliament, need your wise counsel. Feel free when you want to come over. When you see that there is something wrong that we are doing that needs to be corrected, we are always open to any advice because we should be able to leave this place better than the way we have gotten it. We should not spoil what you made, what you created. So we want to request that we should keep in touch, ensure that we make constant collaboration and consultation with the, the former speakers. Maybe there is a better way that you would want us to run this institution. We are free and open to that. We also want to, Clark, on a special note, I want to thank you so, so much. Because you have kept in touch with this team of elders. The Clark is always in touch with these elders. Whenever they need anything, the Clark is available. And I want to thank you so much. And it is always good to appreciate people when they are still alive. And that's why I'm telling you that you did a lot for this country and you're continuing to do a lot for this country. You've contributed to this country. We don't want at a time when you're no more, everybody is paying tribute and talking all the good things about you. But as Parliament of Uganda, 11th Parliament of Uganda, we, pre we, we thought it wise to appreciate you when you're still alive. And I want to thank the members of Parliament who felt and thought it wise that we must appreciate you. Because we've had other parliaments. We had a parliament <laughs> of Honorable Sekandi. They never remembered the, all the other people. But now we have remembered you, Honorable Sekandi. <laughs> <laughs> we have remembered you and we'll keep remembering you. When you want to do, when, this is your home. So we want to thank members of parliament for doing all what they did. And in a special way, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, for assenting that bill and allowing it to be applied retrospectively for the sake of his old colleagues. We want to thank the President, and we want him to continue with that heart, and we'll continue praying for him, for the good work he's doing, for the good heart he has for his colleagues, for building this nation. Honorable members, I know you all have busy schedules. I want once more to thank you. And um, as a way to tap better experience from you from time to time. And kindly allow us whenever you we have any function to invite you to be part of this institution. This is your institution you left, and we are keeping it very well. And I say all this for God and my country. Honorable Speaker of Parliament, and the clerk, and honorable members of the commission, just a few words on behalf of my colleagues. We want to appreciate you, right honorable speaker, for what we have said, right they went through the history and you found 
some speakers were not covered by the benefits which were extended and you vigorously pursued it because I was following the deliberations in the parliament together with the deputy speaker and also thank her, thank him. And you see, it's not really for us, but to recognize that we made some contribution to this country speaks a lot of volume because the country is like a stage. We play our part and go. But to be forgotten is a terrible thing. And I think I, I thank you very much uh, because we have made hum, humble contribution, but nonetheless, we really, to be appreciated, we can't take it for granted. And I want to express our thanks to you and to His Excellency the President assenting to the bill. And I think it is a great message to the country that really past leaders can be recognized. And once again, I want to thank you very much for making sure that this has happened. We are still around. I think some, we have some strength, I suppose. So we can also contribute. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Right Honorable. Commission, you. Yeah, right honorable speaker and right honorable former speakers and honorable members, I want to take this opportunity, right honorable, to thank you so, so, so much as the speaker of the 11th parliament, especially to thank you for the relationship you have created between the legislature and the executive, right honorable, that has led to the success of what we are seeing today. It is because of your good working relationship with the president and yourself that when bills come, right honorable, such bills are passed and then after parliament has passed, they are sent it to. I wanted to put that on record, right honorable, and thank you. I don't also thank you for the struggle. Right honorable, I remember the time when this private member's bill came, you really chaired the house for a long time and ensured that this bill came to pass. And I am happy and excited and have hope that others will grow old at a given time, too, including ourselves who are still young, will also be taken good care of. Thank you so much, Right Honorable, and thank you, the Republic of Uganda. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. And uh, thank you for those good compliments. I remember how Haji Chigongo would call me five times a day. And uh, <laughs> it is now coming to past. Whenever you want us to do something for you, we are ready and available to do it for you as our past leaders, because we are also going to be past leaders. If we can't do it for you, whom can we do it for? Because this place is what it is. Honorable Minister, I want you to emulate what is happening with the parliamentary pension scheme and uh, bring other laws in, in relation to that. The people who have struggled for this country should not just be left like that. Do you want to say anything, Minister? 